Well, welcome to Church Church. Uh, this is Pastor Ken, and I'm um, coming to you to make an announcement to give you some direction as to what we as a staff have been discussing on the, uh, the issues that we're facing with this coronavirus issue and, and ministries here at our church. I want to greet you first of all uh, with a word of encouragement uh, from God's Word. It comes from Philippians chapter 1 verses 2 through 6. And this is what it says. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you always in every prayer of mine making requests for you all with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now being confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of jesus christ in other words god's peace god's presence and god's purpose will always keep us in god's providence i come to you you today as your pastor to assure you that all of your pastors and staff are focusing on how we can walk through this difficult time together. Uh, there are plans that we have made and I want to share with you some of those plans now. And of course we will be constantly upgrading those uh, as uh, things change. First, we will for the first time be able to live stream our services. This is something we've been wanting to do for a long time, uh, but this was the, the impetus that gave us uh, the ability to do so. Plus our trustees set aside the money uh, for us to be able to purchase this expensive equipment uh, so that we'll be able to live stream. And it's something we're gonna be able to use for the future, a great ministry for us as outreach. Uh, second, we're asking everyone this Sunday to please stay home and worship at home uh, and view the services online, not just for health and safety of our church body, but for you to be able to view the very first live stream and then to be able to contact us and communicate with us how that we can do it better. We want you to be our guinea pigs, I guess, so that you can see uh, the new system and then tell us uh, how it works and if it's working okay for you. So uh, please, unless you are a part uh, of the worship team itself, then we ask you to please stay home this Sunday and enjoy the services together as a family. In fact, fathers, uh, this is a great opportunity. Uh, we've been doing a series on home improvement and the place of the father in the home. This is a great opportunity for you as a father uh, to be the spiritual leader in your home and to lead the worship uh, and the time of being together there. Third, we're suspending all other services and ministry and activity here in our building. So we will focus only on the worship, worship service until further notice. What does that mean? Well, it means there will be no connection hour, uh, no Sunday night classes, no children's church, uh, no Wednesday night services or small group meetings, and no hospitality in the church foyer. The uh, things that we've had planned, the missions, silent auction, the baptismal service, and class 101 will all be rescheduled. And we're looking at some ways to be able to offer those classes and things in our Bible studies and all of our staff is working on that so that we can stay uh, connected with you. So watch for those announcements or contact them by going to our website, www.warrencommunitychurch.org, and uh, look on the staff, and you'll be able to get in contact with them. Last, we want you to know that we are available for you in any capacity that you need us. We want to be able to run errands for you, if that's necessary, for some of our folks that are in high risk and don't want to get out at all and go anywhere, but we're here for you and we'll do anything that we can to help you. As we all face this crisis together and we're going to be trusting the Lord uh, for His direction, we'll come through this, I promise you, victoriously. Remember as well that the church will need your continued support. Uh, we uh, have to pay our bills, keep the utilities on, uh, all the other things, salaries and all those things. So as you pray and pray and pray uh, through this situation, please remember to support the church through this difficult, 
difficult time as well. So let me summarize the things that we are going to be doing. Only live streaming services for now. No other studies or activities at this time in our building. Everyone will stay home and worship together as a family. Uh, we'll be informing everyone of any other changes. I want you to practice good health and hygiene and just good common sense as you go about your every day. And remember to continue to support the church as you can with your prayers and your finances. And know that we are praying for all of you as well. And then, of course, contact us for any need that you have by going to our website. Now, this Sunday, we're going to interrupt our series on home improvement. And I will be bringing a message called, What to Do When You Don't Know What to Do. So until this Sunday, be praying. And I want to pray with you now, uh, just asking God to give us direction uh, through this difficult time. So would you pray with me? Lord Jesus, um, we know that life is full of changes. And we know that life is full of difficulties. This is a change and a difficulty that the, our church has never had to face. But we know, Lord, that uh, this is not a surprise to you. So we're trusting you and believing that you will guide and direct us and knowing that you will. We place our total trust on you. And as your word tells us to lean not into our own understanding, but in all of our ways acknowledge you and you will direct our paths. So Lord, we pray for your wisdom and for your direction and to bless your church, Lord, as we see this opportunity. And as uh, Joseph said to his brothers, you meant this for evil, but God meant it for good. And I know that you're going to use this circumstance, no matter where it may have come from, for what purpose it was there, that you will use it to strengthen our faith, to draw us closer to you, and to allow your church to be the church victorious as we march on. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Well, God bless you, church. I look forward to speaking to you on Sunday.